everyone, welcome back to a new video. We're talking about how to look chic in summer in today's video. Summer dressing can mean that we're a little bit more practical than we are chic, because all we want to do is stay cool in the heat. But I want to share with you some styling tips and hacks in today's video on how to bring more dimension and layering back into summer outfits. When I say layering, I definitely don't mean more layers, but rather the things we can do to create a layered look that makes our outfits more interesting. I'm based in Sydney, Australia, so while I'm sitting here in winter right now, I do know a thing or two about dressing for hot weather and I'm also excited to put some of these tips and hacks into use when I head to Bali in a few weeks. Let's get started with today's video where I'm basically just showing you how to go from outfits like this to outfits like this. My very first tip is to find unique ways of adding linen and silk to an outfit. The reason why I like doing this is because I find that a lot of summer outfits are very cotton heavy. So a cotton t-shirt and then cotton skirt or trousers and there's really no texture going on. We can of course just wear silk and linen and mix that in with our cotton pieces but I also wanted to have a play around styling wise to see if there are some unique things that we can do to an outfit to add these two fabrics. I'm gonna start off with an outfit where I'm wearing a blue t-shirt and then a white skirt. The first thing I would do is to obviously throw on a linen shirt. This is kind of the most basic, no-brainer styling. I decided to switch out my black bag for a brown bag just to add a bit more color into the outfit and a little bit more warmth as well. The next thing I did was to actually take a silk scarf. I often see people wearing silk scarves as a little bit of a bandeau top. For me, on an everyday basis, I feel like I would fidget with that way too much. Just worry that it's going to fall off or move around too much. So instead what I did was that I actually kept on my t-shirt and then just added this over the top of the t-shirt Because in this way, it's a little bit more wearable for my everyday. The way I tied it is really simple I have a 70 centimeter square scarf I just folded it into a triangle and then basically did a knot at the front and then moved it to the back. To finish off, I just tucked the ends into the skirt and we just get a really cute bandeau effect on the top. I'm going to be featuring this scarf a lot throughout this video and this scarf is 70 by 70 centimeters. It's made from 100% silk and it's from an Australian brand called Oriton. I really wanted to showcase this scarf because Oriton is a brand that is very popular in Australia but you may not know it if you are from overseas. I also just popped into the store and purchased this one myself the other day and it's not like a featured item or anything like that. I actually prefer it the most when I also put a linen shirt on top. Not only do we have two textures going on, but we're also covering up the knot at the back and the top just looks like it was designed this way. Something else I would do to add linen to my look is to take a linen shirt and tie it around my waist over the top of my skirt. This is something that I've definitely done in the past for practicality reasons when I just want to be hands-free. But lately, I did it in a video and since then, it's something that I think is quite fun to add to an outfit. I really love incorporating linen in this way and if you're looking to try this in your wardrobe I recommend taking a linen shirt and then belting it over a skirt that is midi or I recommend a dress that is in a midi length these two just work really well for me and I would start there. Going back to the silk scarf, I really wanted to actually use it as a scarf but the thought of actually kind of wrapping it around my neck just kind of felt hot. In the summertime, it's the last thing I want to do to have excess material around my neck. So instead, what I might do is to have it actually um, placed underneath my bra strap to hold it in place and then just have it loosely kind of hung over my shoulder. By doing it this way, it feels cooler, it feels more practical, and I kind of also like the look of it where it just hangs loosely as opposed to being too kind of put together and knotted up. Something else I did was to actually weave this scarf through the belt of the skirt. There's no method to this, I just basically tied it wherever it would secure it, and it just adds a bit of silk material to the belt of the skirt. A very simple thing to do, but it brings color, it brings texture, and it definitely makes me feel more excited to wear this outfit. In my second style tip, I want to share with you a color combination that I really love wearing together. And I also want to show with you why I think it works well. So the color palette is blue, yellow, red, and brown. And the reason why I think they work so well together is because it's such a natural palette. If you think about a landscape painting or just, you know, a landscape, You've got blue in the sky, yellows in the sun, red and brown are kind of colors of the earth or the soil. Because the colors we see in nature together, our eye really feels very comfortable looking at this color palette, so it never really feels like it's clashing. 
at least not to me. So I've taken these four colors and I've mixed and matched them. So sometimes using three, sometimes using all four colors to create a bunch of different outfits. The idea of this is basically to have a color palette, but when in doubt, when colors occur in nature together, it's always going to work really beautifully. In my first outfit, I've got on a red top, it's tucked into a yellow pair of trousers, and then I've got on a brown bag. The red tank top I'm wearing is actually a swimsuit, and I'm not suggesting anyone wear a swimsuit around all day, that's honestly my worst nightmare because I feel like these things are so uncomfortable, but it's more a substitute for the red tank top that I don't currently have in my wardrobe. An outfit that feels very vacation or beachy would be to wear a red top on the inside, Maybe put on a blue shirt and have that tied loosely or off the shoulder and then wear the same trousers. The colour palette of this outfit makes it feel like a holiday outfit and I think that I really like it because we're utilising some pieces that are very classic. Case in point, if we take that same blue shirt and then the same yellow trousers, we can actually create an outfit that I think is summer work appropriate. This next outfit is super fun and it is 100% inspired by a look I saw on Savvy's channels. Her YouTube name is Savvy's Look and she's a Chinese uh, influencer YouTuber and she just has the most amazing style and this was 100% inspired by her. Red is such a beautiful colour but I actually don't like wearing a lot of red. I like it more as a pop of colour in an outfit. So this is perfect for that and I can't wait to actually find a tank top in a red colour so this can be a more practical and comfortable outfit to wear. In my last outfit, I wanted to wear this top from And Lover Stories. So the reason why I want to go for this is because it has a very unique closure. It's got three ties. So one at the top, one at the middle, and then one at the bottom. It's really great because you can not do the bottom tie and then have more of the red showing through in this outfit. So that's the reason why I chose this. And I think having the ties just makes it very versatile when you want to do different layering and different styling. To an outfit. I want to give a quick mention to the cream trousers or the yellow trousers that I've been styling throughout. These are the Cezanne Lulu trouser and I've gotten my pair tailored. It came a little bit long but actually not too bad and I got about two inches or five centimeters taken off the end and it now fits really really well. The reason why I like these is because of the fabric. I think it drapes so nicely. I also think that the shape is a really good wide leg shape without being overly dramatic. I'm such a huge fan of this Lulu trouser and I actually had a lot of you guys message me saying you own this trouser and you highly recommend it and love it as well. A great way to elevate any look any time of year is to add a belt. But for the summertime, I wanted to highlight that you can use a fabric belt and then if you don't have a fabric belt, you can also use a silk scarf worn as a belt. So I want to show you a few quick examples. When I talk about a fabric belt, I'm thinking about something like this one. I recently saw this from Isabel Moran, it was on sale. It was definitely too pricey for what it is, but I liked the idea. It's the same thing if you wanted to recreate it and just take a silk scarf and basically loop it around your trouser. I've also seen a lot of brands do the long and skinny silk scarves, and I think that would be a really good option as well. I'm wearing a navy dress here and I belt it in two different ways. So the first one is a black Isabel Morant belt and I really like this. I think it definitely upgrades it and makes it feel more chic, but I actually prefer it with the silk belt in the second look. The same thing applies if you're wearing something like a white t-shirt and then trousers. I decided to use this little white leather belt I have and it has some gold hardware on it that immediately makes this outfit feel more chic. And then the outfit I prefer, especially for the summer is to once again take the silk scarf and then loop it through the trouser just to add the silk scarf and the color back into the outfit. On the topic of accessories, I also wanted to mention what kind of things I look for in my bags and my shoes. I feel like in other seasons, my picks tend to be a bit more classic. For example, a classic black boot, a white sneaker. But in the summertime, I do really like to have a bit more fun with my accessories. It's the reason why I've been showing the silk scarf a lot. It's just like a fun little accessory. And then with my shoes and my bags, I tend to go for either color or some kind of design detail that makes it a little bit more statement. The idea with elevated accessories is that I can wear really basic pieces for summer and then let my accessories do the hard work and make the outfit feel more elevated and more chic. I have a strappy red sandal here and
and these are from Charles and Keith. This pair of shoes is slightly older, so I don't think it's still available, but the idea of going for statement accessories is something that I would recommend for everyone, not just for those people who already have the basics and are looking to experiment. Even when I had one sandal for summer, I remember still going for a blue color or an orange, and it really brought so much more fun into my summer outfits. If you're looking for fun summer sandals, I'll have a few up on the screen of my favorites, and then I'll also link some alternative and similar options um, if you're interested down below. Throughout this video, I've also styled this bag in a few different outfits, and this is another one of those really fun pieces that make my basic t-shirt and trouser outfits feel so much more elevated. It's a round shape, it's a warmer brown colour that has a heritage kind of look to it and I think this shade of brown I especially love for summer. It's got all of these separate pieces and just a very unique design. This is what the bag looks like open and then to close it you've got this pull tab here. You just pull it across and then you've got a little clasp on the end. This bag over here is from a store called Murta and they very kindly sent me this bag to style but whether you like this bag, whether you like any of the other options I'm going to put up on the screen, I feel like a statement bag is just an easy way to elevate a look. My next tip to look chic for summer is to find versatile prints that can be styled in many ways. I really do love a printed piece, but sometimes I find that as much as I love it when I buy it, a few months or a year later, I don't always love it as much. So I'm looking for prints that fall in between, that aren't too statements, but still elevate my outfits and can be worn in many ways. This little top from End of the Stories I showed earlier, but this is a really good example of a very versatile print for summer. It's navy and white and floral, and I feel like you can't go too wrong with this print. It adds a little bit of print into outfits, but you never feel like it's overboard and you can always style this in new ways because it is more subtle. The reason why I know this is very versatile is because I have a navy skirt from Anne of Stories in a very similar print and color. This is so versatile and I wear it with absolutely everything. I barely think about this as a print because it's so subtle with the color palette. And then the other option is the top I'm wearing right now. This is a black top, but it's got some multicolored flowers on it and then this little uh, multicolored detail on the neckline. This little top here is from Cezanne and I managed to style it in a few different ways that I want to share. In my first look, I styled this top with a pair of white trousers, I go for a black belt and red sandals. I chose a red sandal because I wanted the red of the shoe to tie in with the red print on the top. We've got little bits of red, so on the shoulder here, and then also on the neckline thread. Using the same method to put together my outfit, I noticed that this top has a little bit of light yellow, so I thought it was a perfect chance to re-wear those yellow trousers, and I love this look together so much. This outfit is honestly quite colourful because we've got the multicoloured top, we've got the light yellow trousers, we've got the really warm brown bag, but when you put it all together, it feels incredibly wearable, and I think it's because a few of the colours are more muted and then the print is more subtle. With this top, because it's multicolored, you can really pick and choose from the colours on this top and then match it to the different colours you might have in your wardrobe. To prove the versatility of this top, in the last look, I'm going to wear it with this navy skirt. The skirt is printed, but even then, I don't feel like it's too clashy to wear these together. And I think it comes back to the fact that the print on this is not very statement, and it's all very subtle. Finding the right print for your summer wardrobe can actually just bring a lot of versatility because you can play around the different colours, you can match it with other prints for different print mixing, and obviously it just is a statement piece to add with your basics. I said at the start of today's video that part of the reason it's harder to look chic in summer is because we don't do as much layering. So I'm always looking for really unique light layering pieces that I can add to my summer outfits. And an example that comes to mind of something that I wear all year round, but I also think it works for summer, is my Cezanne denim vest. Since getting this last year, I feel like I've styled it in so many different ways. I especially love wearing this on top of something simple like a white t-shirt for summer. It's not only adding, you know, something interesting to look at, it's also adding another texture, this time denim, to the look. In the first tip, I was talking about how to add texture to your look through linen and silk. Denim, I feel like, is sometimes a little bit too heavy for the summer, but this is a great way to do it without overheating. I don't own this next item, but I've seen it a lot and I think it's a really smart way to layer in the summer. I've seen all these crochet tops 
It's basically got small to big holes throughout the top. This is definitely not a practical item of clothing with all the, you know, holes throughout the top. But I think if we were to layer it on top of a tank top or something simple, it brings a lot of texture and detail to an outfit. And I think that's what we're trying to do in summer outfits to make it feel more chic. As I said earlier, I don't own this piece, but I've seen it on a lot of other bloggers. And it's something I can really appreciate the look of especially when we're talking about summer dressing. The last tip I want to share is to actually use sports bras and bralettes to add interest to summer outfits. I have this top over here from Uniqlo and I've had it for about 5 years and I wear it in the exact same way. I have a few buttons undone and I tuck it into a jean. If I'm using this sports bra trick, what I can do is put this on the inside and then basically undo all of the buttons up until the last one. We can see a pop of blue coming out from the shirt and it just creates a different neckline and a different look. This is a trick that I do all the time but I'm definitely quite small chested so I feel very comfortable doing this and most tops give me enough coverage so it's not much of an issue. If in your wardrobe you have a few different colored sports bras, you can kind of imagine the potential combinations you can create with the white shirt, and it's just adding a bit of color or pop of color to your summer look. In another outfit, I have a tank top that scoops a little bit lower on the side. And I feel like in the summertime, it's very common to have tank tops that basically have tricky bra scenarios. Either it's showing the strap, either it's showing the side or the back, Something is showing. So instead of trying to figure out a bra solution for every single top, I just go for a sports bra or a bralette that adds to the outfit and makes it feel more intentional. Those are all my tips for how to look chic and dress well in the summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love for you to go give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you'd like to see weekly style content from me um, on my channel. I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you next one. Bye.